Here is a short video to demonstrate how we can use graphical user interface to Möbius Invariance Library to draw some geometrical, simple geometrical figures in an efficient way. So we start the graphical user interface. If we will simply click on the screen, the corresponding points will be created. These points are labeled by consecutive uh, Roman letters, Latin letters. This is default behavior. Um, if I want to join uh, these three points into the triangle, the common agreement what it shall be uh, opposite side have the same letter, but in uh, small uh, Latin uh, letters. So we can adjust that behavior to make it correspondingly uh, suitable for us. So there is here toolbar button. So we make small romans and we reset counter what it will start from the beginning from the first letter A. Also we may want what the new style uh, for the sides of the triangle will be in blue color and that shall be applied to all uh, cycles which we will create from now on. So the first cycle will be A small and it shall pass points B and C. Passing points for a cycle means it's orthogonal. And to be a straight line means what this cycle shall be orthogonal to infinity. So this is collection of three um, relations for new cycle A, which we have uh, requested. Now it's time to create this cycle. And similarly, we may create cycle B, which pass through point A, point C, and infinity. Similarly, we create the last cycle, which is third side of the triangle C. Now I want to drop altitudes in my triangle. So altitudes need to be labeled a different way. So it may be still small Roman. To get what we want, we change here the format of the string, which um, tell us how <coughs> label, uh, label are generated. So Elsa, we may want what it will be in green color and because uh, it's auxiliary uh, lines, so it may be in dashed style rather than solid one. So we apply that setting. So the first line, um, so we forget here, so next line will be HD. We forget to set up uh, what it shall be fresh counter. So it will be line now HA, <coughs> which we are building. So it's passing point A. It's orthogonal to the side A and it's orthogonal to infinity, it's past infinity. So this is what we get. So by accident our triangle was almost rectangular, so make it more visible I move point B a bit. So maybe I need to move it again because otherwise it will be the other altitude again going through the side. Now we want to draw altitude through the B. And finally altitude through the vertice C. So pass infinity as well to be the straight line. So three altitudes pass the same point, so we actually can check it. So let us define intersection point. 
So it belongs to HA, so orthogonal to HA. It belongs to HB. And it shall be a point. So it shall be orthogonal to itself. Um, yeah, so it will be the orthocenter of the triangle. It's uh, commonly uh, denoted by letter O. So probably I want to choose the manual uh, naming of cycles because otherwise the name will not be what I want. But then if I reset it, I need to uh, choose my relations which are required anyway from the scratch. And in fact, <coughs> so what we have here, uh, it will be um, self-orthogonal cycle, so it's a point, and it belongs to HA and HC, what I have here. Uh, so um, uh, besides intersecting in the orthocenter of the triangle, with both lines pass infinity, so infinity will be another common point, and I want to exclude this solution, so I add relation to infinity, uh, which says almost different. It's not different because we may have some round, rounding errors, so float arithmetic is not perfect, so we will choose almost different relation. So that is condition which we uh, put, we create cycle, because we choose manual naming, we are asked for the name, that it will be orthocenter. So this point O, it uh, belong to HA and HC. So let us check what the third altitude HB is passing O. So let us check that relation, what it's orthogonal to O. almost true uh, appears because there is indeed some rounding errors and we may tick here the box what with relation will appear in the bottom line and it will be re-evaluated each time when we change the figure and we can change our figure by moving vertices of the triangle all sides and altitudes will be transformed accordingly and in new configuration we still will have point O intersecting <coughs> uh, That was so far the kind of geometry which you can do with other interactive geometry packages. Let us see the unique possibilities of Möbius Invariant uh, library. So for this I open some figure which I prepared in advance. It looks very similar to what we had before. The only difference what I have that additional cycle n which has coordinates 0, 0, 1 which exactly has coordinates for infinity 0, 0, 0, 1. So and um, what is defined here as the straight lines uh, they are uh, orthogonal not to the uh, real infinity, but rather on that copy n, which we uh, prepared in advance. Uh, the purpose is what um, in coordinates of infinity cannot be modified, obviously, <coughs> but uh, coordinates of this um, uh, cycle n can be edited. <coughs> and let us for example, move uh, this point from infinity to some finite location. Let it will be a point, so it is zero uh, radius cycle. Let's we'll say coordinates phi five. five. <coughs> so let us see what will happen. So as you observe, so uh, everything still uh, say line B passing A, passing C and passing that new position of infinity n. So straight line conformally mapped to the circle and all straight line actually conformally mapped to the circle. So um, that point O, which is the intersection of HA, now it's not a straight line, it's a circle, and HB, it uh, shall be belong to the 
uh, hc as well so we will put uh, a check for hc to check what it's orthogonal to O cycle and again uh, with correction to floating point arithmetics rounding errors that is a true statement which we can observe so and if we will move point n to different locations <coughs> so it's still we will have that point o uh, which is the intersection of all three altitudes this is what we have <coughs> so conformal version of the conformal version of the uh, orthocent is still have the same property and um, we can do even more so let us uh, return point n to infinity so all components except m shall be zero uh, when value of m is not so important but let it put one for simplicity so this is what we had from the beginning <coughs> this uh, type of um, uh, straight lines now let us uh, see if we change the relation for the uh, geometry to be a hyperbolic one so we draw the uh, everything in hyperbolic style and uh, corresponding uh, relation as we can see is still preserved <coughs> although the relation between cycle is still elliptic <coughs> so in particular we have that orthogonality between h a and a is orthogonal in usual sense but we can change orthogonality also to hyperbolic one so hyperbolic orthogonality <coughs> means something different so here we have hc or h h a and a we are not uh, orthogonal in euclidean sense but light cone uh, here on hyperbolic plane bisect angle between these two lines a and h a and for other pairs of lines which shall be orthogonal in hyperbolic sense you can observe the same property and orthocent o is still the common point of three altitudes in this case in hyperbolic case so uh, we may try to draw corresponding parabolic presentation so points are now represented by parabolas which are tangent to the real line and we still have point O to be <coughs> a joint point intersection so of with uh, three uh, corresponding with three <coughs> altitudes so that is kind of experiments which you can do with Möbius invariance geometry and observing many properties which are unique and uh, uh, shared probably between different types of Kelly clay.